in this demo we are going to take a tour of azure portal in your browser head over to azure.microsoft.com and click on try azure for free this will take you to a page to create an azure free account click on start free to opt for free trial subscription using either existing account or by creating a new azure account so what is the difference between azure account and subscription azure account allows you to sign into azure portal using credentials whereas subscription is a billing boundary you will be charged for the resource usage into that subscription with a free trial subscription you get credits of us dollar 200 and is valid for 30 days when opting for free trial subscription you need to provide credit card information however you will not be charged on credit card until and unless you are billing exhaust 200 us dollar credits let's head over to azure portal go to portal.azure.com which will allow you to access azure portal sign in to it and you will be presented with this screen on the left hand side you will see menu with various options at the top you will have global search to search for resources services and documentation to the right of it you will be able to see various icons cloud shell directories and subscriptions notifications settings support and troubleshooting feedback and finally profile information on the home screen you will be able to see recently accessed services you can also click on more services to access various azure services you will be able to see recently accessed resources so that you can quickly jump to them you can create a resource by clicking on this create a resource button you can also use create a resource option from the left hand side menu select a specific service and then create a resource for it or you can jump to a specific blade of a specific service and then create a resource or you can go to global search search for a particular service go to its blade and then create a resource of it so as you can see there are various ways to create a resource of a particular service screen let's go to dashboard dashboard is like a personalized view for you you can create a private or a shared dashboard you can upload an existing one you can edit the details or the tiles of this dashboard you can share it with team members or export it to download or print purpose or even clone it you will be able to see various tiles to get a uh, whatever important information you want to see on your dashboard you can customize it the way you want by clicking on edit at the same time you can also specify auto refresh for a particular time interval let's click on edit and it will present to you various tiles that you can select for example i may select users and groups and add it it will be added to the bottom and you can rearrange its size you can also delete a particular tile and so on you can preview the final changes and save the dashboard let's head over to all services all services will display a catalog of all azure services and display it in various categories we have categories for compute services networking storage databases and so on for each of the service you will be able to see a star icon which you can use to add or remove that particular blade from favorites menu. For example, let me click on star icon for function app. 
and it will be added to the favorites. Similarly, if I uncheck it, it will be removed from favorites menu. So this way you can access frequently user services from this menu itself. Let's go to virtual machines. On this plate, you will be able to create or manage the resources of that particular service, as well as bunch of other actions you can do. You can filter the resources based on various parameters. You can see and read the high level definition of this particular service. Also for more information, you can visit Microsoft to learn for its documentation. At the same time, you can also pin this particular blade to your dashboard. Let me click on this pin icon and it will open a pop-up to either add or pin it to existing private or shared dashboard or create a new one. Let me pin it to existing dashboard. When you perform any activity, you will be able to see the pop-up as a notification and the number of notifications will be highlighted in the notifications icon. Let's head over to dashboard. And you can see here that the virtual machine style is added. I may search for a particular service such as virtual machine. And as per the search term, the results will be categorized under services, marketplace, documentation, and so on. You can use this option to go to the blade of that service. And from there, you can manage resources of that service type. Let's click on Cloud Shell. If you are accessing Cloud Shell for the first time, it will ask you to create a storage account, which is a prerequisite. Once you create it, it will present with you a Cloud Shell terminal, which can be run either in PowerShell or Bash mode. And you can also switch among them. So what is the difference between the two? In the Bash mode, you can run Azure CLI commands, Whereas in PowerShell mode, you can run PowerShell commandlets. These are two different ways to write commands or scripts to interact with Azure infrastructure. Whatever operations we can do from Azure portal, same can be done via Azure CLI or PowerShell. Let's click on directories and subscription. In this account, you may have one or more sub active subscriptions. And at a time, you will be using one of the Azure Active Directory. Azure Active Directory is a cloud-based identity solution. And you can switch to one of the directories to which you have been given access to. Subscription, which acts as a billing boundary, it also trusts Azure Active Directory. You can switch to the one uh, current or separate directory. Subscription trusts Azure Active Directory to authenticate and give access permissions to users, Azure resources, and devices. Notifications, you can see the notifications for various activities you are performing on the Azure portal. Let's go to support and troubleshooting. Service health will allow you to see if there are any issues related to Azure services. If you have any issues, problems related to any services or resources, you can Content, ask the questions on the community. You can refer to the Azure documentation and other links. 
if you are still not satisfied and wants to contact Microsoft, you can create a support request or support ticket by clicking on help and support button. Next, feedback. You might have suggestions for changes in portal UI or for new features. Then you can share that experience as a feedback to Microsoft. And finally, you can get profile information from the last icon. This concludes our Azure portal tour.